Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today we're gonna be working on my new to me ML350. It's a 2004. I picked it up for dirt cheap, $3,800 Canadian. It's got 184,000 Ks on it. And it is in somewhat rough shape, got rust spots on it, needs a loads of work. And it'd be perfect for me to do up in the long run and make more videos and document it all so people can actually see a one-stop shop for the ML350 as you can see it was a farm vehicle it's got rust everywhere rust there all the interior is all dirty and it runs good though that's one thing I'm gonna give the previous owner it's got some cheaper aftermarket stereo in it the seats are good except for this spot here that's got some stitching coming off, so I'll have to fix that. I'll document that too in the videos. And here's how the pack looks. You can just tell looking at it how dirty and, oh, you know, like raggedy it is. As it hasn't been taken care of as good as you would want to. And then there was a rust spot here that they've just thrown some weird paint on here too, so. I have to sand it down all the way and then put some bog on and paint her up. Front tires are okay, but the rear ones are shot, so it's gonna need some tires, which is okay, because I want to convert it to more more like an off-road off-road vehicle. So it's missing the, the back plastic plate already. I'll order that one. And I will be taking that useless spare tire from it. And no major dents, no nothing, just little things that need fixing. Same thing, rear tire shot, brake pads are old. Again, another rust spot here that needs to be fixed. And some more scratches here, need to fix those. But on that, everything works. Air condition works, it runs good. And so today, I'll actually show you quickly the engine bay first. This is what the engine bay looks like, which needs a lot of attention. How leaking from the valve seals, quite bad. I've got those on the order. Once they come in, we'll clean up the engine and do the seals. Today, we're gonna change the oil in it and sea foam the old one out so it just gets a bit more cleaner and more oil leak all here and coolant doesn't seem to be any color from the outside let's just see what's in there eh, it just looks like we're running it on distilled water or something i've got the Mercedes-Benz recommended coolant on the order too, so once that comes in, we'll flush it out. But yeah, this is where we are. This is the new project, so yeah, I don't know if the camera catches or not, but the front shocks in there look pretty old and raggedy. Uh, spark plugs are going to need changing. They don't misfire, but I pulled one out and they look like they've never been changed. The car's done 184,000 Ks and it's all stock plugs. Other than that, nothing, nothing crazy bad. Just oil, oil, oil that needs to be cleaned up. And I'm thinking to take off this air box and I have a cone filter kicking around. I might put that on just to see how it runs. I know it's, it's a hot air intake, but it just makes the induction noise that much better. So that's something I'll be willing to try and see how it goes. And so without further ado, let's get into it. Okay guys, so now to treat the motor with sea foam, we've taken off the gas cap, the oil cap, and it doesn't seem too good in there, unfortunately. It's all black and gunky. So sea foam will do something decent in there, let's hope. And this engine takes eight liters of oil. So after doing the normal math, it turns out to be about 236 mils of 
sea foam needs to go in there to treat the engine and right now I don't have precise 236 but it's just a rough over 225 between 250 and measure it pour it in and this should start doing some magic in there okay clean her up put that there yeah we're gonna crank the motor now let's crank her up okay guys so what we've done is just lifted up the drain pan a bit because otherwise it's gonna shoot out and make a mess all over in the garage just a tip if you love your garage that's what you should do too make less mess now get under there we have no idea when the oil change was done on this ml by the previous owner oh boy the oil's like water the oil is dirty really really dirty like, it couldn't be worse but then i think seafoam's done its thing too it's taken out a lot of gunk okay guys this is what the oil looks like that came out absolutely disgusting you can just see that's on some of the white paper towel there just super disgusting color and seafoam's done its job too it just looks like the oil's a lot thinner and a lot of sludge is there at the bottom so that was a success and once we get rid of this we'll tighten that 13 mil screw okay guys after dropping the oil what we decided to do was just put some fresh oil in there say half a liter so it just goes through the engine a bit more and takes a little bit of old crappy oil with it or you can throw a liter in there if you got extra liter or whatever and now to take the oil filter off you need a 14 flute oil wrench lucky there's a harley one kicking around here so we don't have to go buy one put this on and then open her up the, the condition of the oil filter now the oil was really disappointing so you can't see oil filter being wonderful either all thanks to the previous owner we can blame him for everything now okay there we go that comes off quite a bit of oil is still sitting in there so we'll let that one go okay guys so we've poured in one jug of oil in there and it takes roughly eight liters so here's the second jug Get that ready. The filter has been put on tight. Drain bolts been tightened. I did not know the torque spec, so I've just hand tightened it. Once I do find the correct ones, whenever I get a chance, I will update it in the description. So you guys can see it there. Pour some more oil in there. Good. Goes in. It takes a lot of oil, guys, so don't be shy keep dropping in I drop in seven liters then I'll park it on a level floor right now it's on jack stands and then I'll see if it needs more because I don't want to overfill it either we're halfway keep going for some reason the funnel doesn't go down all the way so you're gonna have to hold the funnel it's got some kind of weird cross filter thing in the in the neck the filler cap that stops it from going all the way okay put some more in if you own an ml and you want to do the basic maintenance just like and subscribe guys that's all i'm doing i just bought this old farm beater for a reason to do all the videos so i'm trying to make it your one-stop shop to check for all 
basic references if you're doing oil change or transmission oil fluid change or diff oil or spark plugs valve seals shocks rust they, we just found a water leak on the carpet in there too so we'll have to find the problem and then fix it but well, we will put it on the camera when we do so if anyone has that sort of issues with their car mercedes and ml they can probably look for the same sort of issues and go from there might help them pinpoint the problem a bit easier okay so the oil fill is done so far and while i was working in the garage i looked at the air box and i realized i have a spare cone filter kicking around so i might change that too if you guys want to see what's involved in it feel free to check it out I'll put the light in here for now so you can see it's fairly easy this job is okay that part is just setting the light up guys trust me it's not that big of a deal to get this out set her up okay pop the pins I popped some pins earlier, so they're all over. There. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight on the box itself. Pop the lid. And there's two more on the other side. So you can take the box off. And then here comes the air filter. That seems to be filthy. Typical farm vehicle live all around okay now let's see how's this one being held it looks like it's connected in here airflow Hang on. let's put the light up here that's a bit better okay pop oh, it's just held in by rubber grommets so pull one end, pull the other end, two grommets hold this, and the box is out. A bit more space to work. I'm going to leave these here for cold air to put this on. I will have to find a tubing that actually goes on or our, our silicone tubing that goes on from here and puts the filter all the way to the side because it's just right on the head I just want to see how it actually runs for now so it's a quick test I drive around the block and we'll do the mods afterwards as we go make them a bit better take this off all right guys that's how you change the oil on an ml 350 by the way that's uh that's what i was talking about just lift it higher just easier to contain the oil uh dripping out if you put it down it's just too much going all over anyway please like and subscribe guys and Stay tuned for more videos to come. We'll be working on this beast as much as we can and make content for you guys to watch and enjoy. Thank you and have a great day.